Yo, what's up, guys? We're gonna do, a, I think, maybe one or two multis on Jacko, just to see if you can get her. Mainly because she's a fire warrior, and I can use some fire in my arsenal. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And uh, hopefully you get lucky in the first pull. If not, it's fine, I guess. I would prefer to get something, but I'm not expecting anything. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. I got a candlestick. Um, I'll do one more. Come on, Jacko. So far, the rates have been not so good. Go ahead and skip. Oh, what's happening? Oh, okay. That's new. I don't mind using a couple of my badges. I just don't want to tap into my sky crystals, so. Um, okay. What are we at for summons? I don't want to go below 200, but I'm so close, but I'm so far. I, I kind of want to get her. It'd be nice if I got her early. Uh, connecting? Oh, something gold popped up. Please? Three and out. Three and out, boys. Three multis and out. That's what we take. Okay, cool. I'm happy. I'm very, very happy with that. Um, yep. Okay, so we're done. Oh, we get the artifact too. Ayo. Yeah, this is sick. Wait, what, what else are we getting? Oh, nice. Another character. Hi. I'm very happy with that. Or I guess we're three and done. I'm gonna go ahead and start saving till my what is happening? <laughs> happening. <laughs> Alright. Anything else in here? Or are we good? I, I don't wanna go anymore. I I'm happy with that. So that's the summon. We got our artifact and her. I'm very happy with this. I needed a fire character for episode 3 of the story, so I will be building her and 6-starring her eventually. So, um, yeah, I guess that's going to be the, well, not the video, but whatever intro video this is. This will just be the intro video, so thanks for watching, and uh, I guess we'll continue on with the video. Alright, guys. Uh, we did get lucky on Jacko's pulls. I only did 3 multis, and we did pull her and her artifacts. We dipped out. We're doing good on saving. So, she's another character added to the roster for future proofing the account. Uh, she's going to be good in PvP, mainly, but I do need fire characters on my account for episode 3, so I'm glad I, I have a couple of those now. In the end, I do want the other uh, character that I don't have, which is like Hale, Hale Young, I think her name is. Uh, she's very good, she creates barriers. She's the one I would really like, but you know what? I'll take I'll take a Jacko. Why not? I missed the first warrior that was fire. I'll just grab this one. Now for the rest of the banners, I actually don't know if they're worth going for. Like I know Dizzy, a lot of people are seeking her. Um, you know, there are characters, th these characters do have uses, but for me, I was only going to pick one of them, and the one that I really wanted, because she's a fire warrior, was Jacko, and I do feel like she's going to be the best long term, so that's why I went for her. I'm not saying these other characters are bad, they all have their uses, but for me, I do want to make sure that I have a semi-decent bruiser PvP team in the future. Uh, maybe next time when they come back around, I'll pick up a Dizzy or Elephant, but right now, um... I'm just going to stip and wait for the next big hype PvE unit or PvP unit to come that may be in the future. I have been trying to go for Captain Pirate Flan, but no luck. So I guess today what we're going to do is continue the adventure through... Uh, through... what is this? Whatever this is. <laughs> it's, uh, chapter... Chapter 3, Episode 1. Or uh, Episode 3, Chapter 1. Um, we'll do a few of these missions. I have been farming also the lollipop event. I do need to get three more lollipops and I'm done. But I don't want to spend any more stamina on that. So, we cleared out Episode 1. We we beat the uh, we beat the epilogue. I I have completed Episode 2. There's a few things I should go back and do. Right now we're in Episode 3. And it looks like there's still more to come in the future. But it's getting kind of tough. So... I guess we'll continue with this. I'm trying to three-star these if possible, but like it's pretty hard. So, clear initial story. Uh, 
and the fire character. Good thing I'm bringing Jakku. I am going to bring a backup character that's going to hopefully help me. Um, red, so I'm going to bring a blue DPS if possible. I'll just bring a second. Um, anyone running a good blue backliner? I'll bring, I'll bring, uh, she won't do any damage. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, we'll bring, I guess we had no choice to bring Yuna. Okay, we'll bring a Yuna. I hope that's fine. Uh, we do have the fire character on our team. I am trying to level up Jakku. Uh, she's only at a four-piece speed set and nothing else, so don't expect that much. However, she does have my best in slot sword. Uh, whenever I can hit level 55, I will reforge it, because the piece itself should be pretty solid. So yeah, we have that going for us, at least. I'm um, skipping the story. We'll, we'll see how she does. Uh, honestly, she wants debuffs, so I, ironically, I would want, like, Sigrid to be faster than her. I don't know why she's so fast, to be honest. So let's go ahead and check out her ultimate on, I guess, this guy. Pretty cool. Um, she doesn't have any gear on except the four piece speed set, and it's not even like she's got one maxed out on it, which is level 15, but yeah, don't expect too much from her. She's not even geared properly or have levels in her skills. She's just base. I literally got her five star with one star awakening until I can get more. So she's literally at her base, to be honest. Uh, I'll try to put more resources into her over the next, you know, however long it takes. Uh, so I will be building her over time. She's not a must get done now because she is a PvP character. And I'm not, like, stressing the PvP right now too much, to be honest. Like, I, I do need characters, but, like, I want to get through the story for more summons. This this could take a while. Like, I'm at the point where, like, the, the grind hit hard. Or, like, the uh, the wall for, like, how hard things are. Like, I, I definitely need defense breaking on my uh, team. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just do this. I should have hit the guy that was stunned, to be honest. She would have did more damage, but it's fine. It's fine, I'm just trying to get these guys out of here. Will I get a deflect off? No. Deflect, please. I need them I need her to de uh defense lower. It's really like the only oh no defense lower. It's really the only way for me to do any damage. <laughs> the damage is so low. There you go, she does her extra additional thing whenever the enemy's got a debuff on her. So that's cool. So if you have a debuff, her, her S1 will do more stuff, which is kind of neat. The struggle is real, I'm not gonna lie. I might need to switch someone out and just bring someone else in. Uh, which would be Jago, but I, I need her to level, so I don't really want to switch her. So she'll do additional here? I don't even know what that's called, so let's finish the animation. Uh, for anyone who wants to know how to build her, from what I've seen, you put her on 4-piece speed and then 2-piece penetration. But what I'm going to do for her is I'm going to put her on 4-piece speed, and I think uh, I'm going to put her... Because I don't have access to penetration, I might put her on 2-piece like crit damage or 2-piece crit chance or something. Uh, we'll go like this. And then for her... Uh, for her, like right side stats it does look like you want crit damage on the necklace attack on the ring and then i think speed on the boots is what it's lo looking like for her build but like that's for mid maxing i'm sure a lot of you guys are not, like i'm not even there mid maxing so just take what you can get on her uh, i would just say put the four piece speed on her if you are new and worry about the two piece later if you have to just use what you can uh we did get some defense lowering which is sick so what we're gonna do is Get him on here, hopefully. Still trying to get this one out, too. Okay, he's dead. So this should hit someone else. I wish the animation wasn't blacked, like that, but like the background. I wish, I wish it was like the actual background. Uh, it makes the animation look a lot better when there's an actual background. At least I think so. Dokkan had the same problem for years, and then they figured it out. Nice. Go like this, just to speed this up. We're almost at the boss. Whenever I get the boss, I'll switch into Yuna. But we're we're doing we're doing okay. I just want to get some XP for my Jacko, and that way you guys can kind of see what she does. She's not really made for PVE content, but I'm gonna make her work for PVE mainly because I do need a fire damage dealer for it. So I figured she'd be the best option since I got her artifact on her too. Uh, we need to kill this guy in the back. There we go, that's some decent damage. Alright, so what I'm gonna do actually is I'm tagging Yuna. Because she's actually built. Um I'll, go, I'll, go, I'll 
gonna increase my stuff. Go. And then for you, we'll go ahead and use you. I'm definitely gonna use my burn here for on the uh this, I think. So we'll go ahead and do that. I wonder if that guy's a playable character. If you know if he is and what his name is, let me know in the comments below. Or if he's just a guardian. Because he's kind of sick. Alright, so we'll go like this. I'm gonna go ahead and put up a barrier. This, this healer has been so helpful for just keeping me alive in like dire situations. Her barriers are really good. Okay. No deflex. No deflect, it's fine. We'll go with this. He should be nearly dead. It's got it just got really slow after uh, like the end of chapter or the end of episode two was just like really slow. Uh it just got really hard for no reason. And I think a lot of that's because of the health pools and the the uh, elemental like coloring they are now. Like because I'm not type advantage anymore, so that definitely could have a part of it. My like, gear is fine on some of my characters. Like cigarette does have decent gear. It's not like mid max by any means, but it's decent. But like it's still, it just it just hit different. I do want more sky crystals, so when I do actually summon for whatever is to come in the future, like whatever comes after the lab, I hope it's sick so I can summon on it. Because I am guaranteed a character still. So we need one fire character still? Okay. Um, I'm gonna bring this person, I guess. So I don't see any other options, unless, unless, unless... You're, I know you're good, so we'll bring you. I'm gonna also go for probably Apocalypse Robbie for my three selector, whenever we get the chance to pick. She's gonna be really good. Cool. Slowly waking, making our way through it. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just start with this. I know I could I could put this on auto, but like I, I just don't trust it. Also, do, using her, I'm getting her. Uh, I'm getting her hearts up. So if I get her heart maxed out, I'll get the free. You know, I can use the heart. Uh, for her instead of the Meloria or whatever. So I get some, a couple free skill levels or whatever. I'm gonna put barrier up. So that'll be kind of nice. Uh, I know my my uh, my my seasides are really close to the um, level ten on that. Uh, my cigarette is level ten on that. I just need to get the extra stuff for her. Is like this game's got like an endless farm when it comes to everything, awakening characters, leveling characters, everything that has to do with characters is just like a grind. Got that out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and use my ultimate on this guy at the defense down. I love when she winks. <laughs> and then we'll use you to hopefully kill. Yep. No, he's 1 HP. That's awkward. Deflect. Damn it. Alright, now he's dead. Got a defense lower on that guy, so we're gonna go ahead and heal up you, because you've been tanking in really nicely. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch out, uh, I think, Seaside. Or I should just switch out. Damn it. I want a leveler, though. Like, if she was leveled and actually, like, had some resources in her, I feel like she'd be very good. Like, very good for this, because she'd be doing some damage then. And the stunning would be kind of nice. Well, at least she gets the kill, I guess. Boom. She does have good stats, by the way. Like, Jacko definitely has some nice stats. I don't know why she runs like that. <laughs> it's kind of cute, though. Uh, we'll go like this. We're all we'll put this guy, I guess. Nice. I'm gonna pull out Rav and uh, the Apocalypse Robbie, I think. So we'll go ahead and put her in the back. It's fine. That way we can go like, is this single target or auto target? I think it's single target. So we'll go like this. I want this character so bad. She's so sick. Big fan of her. It's either her or Operate or Sigrid. So, it's one of those two that I'm gonna go for. I haven't really decided yet. I, I do think I'm gonna go with Rob, uh, I, I do think I'm gonna go with... 
crabby though. But then again, the countering the barriers would be very helpful in like all content. So I don't know if I should go for uh, Apocalypse Robbie or Operator Sigurd. I, I kind of want both of them. If you guys would like to like let me know too, like out of those two, which one would probably be the better option? I, I feel like a lot of you might say they're both pretty like on par, but maybe you guys have like more insight to what's to come and what might be helpful for like the long run. Ooh, she's not as built as she was. Oh, this is gonna take forever. This is gonna be a long story, isn't it? Until I get to max old gear on me. Cause he died. Go ahead and heal up. I don't want to use burn, but I will just do this. Oh, I missed. That's awkward. I need a defense breaker really bad, but I don't want to bring various. Damn it, no defense breaking. I need to put a her on more efficiency, it looks like. He's dead. Nice. We're almost there. Too bad these weapons are not going to be very helpful. Uh, I need more gear. Alright, so we got Sigurd here. We're going to go ahead and do this first. I'm going to use my burn on, I think, my, my, uh, my guardian. But like, on my healer's turn. Got the defense break, that's huge. Really nice. When that happens, it's awesome. Uh, I'll go like this. Go ahead and pop all. That has some nice damage. So... I'm actually gonna pop it on the side. That way I can heal. Okay, and then we can heal. That did a lot of damage too. We still have a burn, I think, access that we'll buy a cigarette if we... I think so. Yeah, we can, we can burn a cigarette. Yeah, once we broke that defense, it was pretty much GG's. Very helpful. Alright, three stars, and... Nice. Um, sure. Character that I can use for feed later. Cool. Um, set back for a second. We only did two missions? Oh god. Uh, we have to do one of these and do the bosses. Ah, uh, video's probably going long enough for the summon session to start. All right, guys. So I guess that's gonna be it for this video. I'm just showing you where the account is. Uh, we're working our way through episode three. I did pull Jacko. I'm working on all my gear. Uh, it's just kind of hard. I did do a ten pull on on like the the crafting thing for boots, but all the boots I got sucked. So that's unfortunate. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, my Moonlight Blessing is still, you know, I have Arbiter and the process of being made. Uh, so, it's it's a grind. So, yeah, uh, let me know if you guys have any tips for me in the comments below. And thank you for watching. I'll probably be posting either day 8 or 9. I don't know. I've been kind of skipping days, to be honest. So, yeah, I've kind of been casually posting it as I felt like I needed to. I'm approaching rank 48. So, or, I mean, 50, which is nice. And my PvP is, if I go to arena, I'm silver five so i'm working through that as well but it kind of had a, a little bit of a bump so yeah thanks for watching guys you guys have a good one peace